एक लास्ट हाय हेलो नमस्ते आदाब सत्याकाल असला वनक कमेंट खम्बा गई टू ऑल ऑफ यू वेलकम टू टूडेज क्लास एंड एज यू ऑल नो दिस इज योर एन सी आर टी सीरीज फॉर सी बी एस सी नाइन एंड वी आर डूइंग द सोल्यूशन फॉर द टॉपिक पॉलिनोमियल्स चैप्टर पॉलिनोमियल्स राइट सो इन दिस क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग एक्सरसाइज टू पॉइंट फोर क्वेश्चन नंबर टू ओके सो एज यू नो वन बाय वन वी आर कवरिंग द होल एन सी आर टी विल प्रोवाइड द सोल्यूशन फॉर द होल एन सी आर टी सो दैट you never face any problem in your examination wherever you are facing any problem just write the exercise name and question number you will get the video for that okay so the question here is use the factor theorem to determine whether gx is a factor of px in each of the following cases so they are saying to use factor theorem ab beta dekho what factor theorem says कि अकॉर्डिंग टू फैक्टर थियरम्स वी विल से सर दिस जी एक्स वेदर जी एक्स इज द फैक्टर ऑफ दिस पार्ट और नॉट सो दिस जी एक्स विल बी द फैक्टर दिस जी एक्स विल बी द फैक्टर इफ आई फाइंड आउट दैट वेन आई डिवाइड दिस पी एक्स बाय जी एक्स आई कैन ओनली से जी एक्स इज अ फैक्टर वेन पी एक्स इज डिवाइड बाई जी एक्स एंड द रिमाइंडर मस्ट बी इक्वल टू जीरो राइट सो फैक्टर थियरम इज अ स्पेशल केस कम्स फ्रॉम रिमाइंडर थियरम तो वॉट वी विल से कि चलो सर लेट अस सी वेदर दिस जी एक्स अपॉन डिवाइडिंग व्हेन दिस जी एक्स डिवाइड्स पी एक्स वेदर द रिमाइंडर इज जीरो और नॉट सो वी नीड टू सी वेदर रिमाइंडर विल बी जीरो और नॉट सो रिमाइंडर थ्योरम टाइप्स राइट सो व्हाट विल से बाय फर्स्ट स्टेप क्या होता है बेटा मेक डिवाइजर इक्वल टू जीरो सो मेक जी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो सो एक्स प्लस वन इक्वल टू जीरो यू आर गेटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस वन नाउ द रिमाइंडर नाउ द रिमाइंडर विल बी the value of this dividend px at x is equal to minus 1 this will be your remainder so if the remainder is equal to 0 according to factor theorem i can say yes sir gx is a factor of px if remainder is not 0 i will say it is not a factor so find the value at x is equal to minus 1 so 2 into minus 1 cube plus minus 1 square minus 2 into minus 1 minus 1 So minus one cube is minus one only. Minus one into two is minus two. Minus one square is plus one, so plus one. Minus two into minus one. Negative into negative is positive, so plus two, and then minus one over here. So you can see clearly the answer is zero. So if remainder is equal to zero, I can say yes, sir. X plus one is a factor. In the first case, G X is a factor of P X. G X is a factor of P X in the first case. Second case, see, sir, beta. सेकेंड केस में अगेन मेक जी एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो टू गेट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स राइट सो एक्स प्लस टू इक्वल टू जीरो यू आर गेटिंग एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो द रिमेंडर विल बी इक्वल टू वैल्यू ऑफ दिस पी एक्स एट एक्स इज इक्वल टू माइनस टू सो इन द सेकेंड केस वॉट इज दिस इट इज एक्स क्यूब सो माइनस टू क्यूब प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस टू स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री इंटू माइनस वन सॉरी इंटू माइनस टू Plus one. Wherever x was there, I put minus two. So minus two cube is minus eight, right? Minus two into minus two into minus two is minus eight. Minus two square is four. Four threes are twelve. Three into minus two is minus six plus one. So minus eight minus six is minus fourteen plus twelve plus one is thirteen. So you can clearly see the remainder. That is the value of this polynomial p x at x is equal to minus two. Is equal to minus one, so the remainder is not equal to zero. So if the remainder is not zero, I can say it is not a factor. As simple as that. Just check the remainder using remainder theorem. If the remainder is zero, you will say, "Ki sir, it is a factor." If remainder is not equal to zero, it is not a factor. As simple as that. So factor theorem is just a special case coming out of the remainder theorem. That is when remainder is zero, it is a factor. Remainder is not zero, it is not a factor. As simple as that. So this is the better way for understanding this question. Third one, my again, make g x equal to zero. So x minus three is equal to zero. So your x is equal to three. So the remainder will be equal to value of this polynomial at x is equal to three. So it will be three cube minus four into three square plus three plus six. Okay. So three cube is twenty seven. Three square is nine. Nine into minus four. Nine into minus four is minus thirty-six. Plus three plus six is plus three plus six is plus nine. So twenty-seven plus three is your thirty. Thirty plus six is thirty-six. So thirty-six minus thirty-six 
is equal to zero. So your remainder is equal to zero. That means you can say it is a factor. So the third one is a factor. First one is a factor, but the second one is not a factor. Okay. So third is a first is a factor. Second is not a factor. Third is a factor. Got it. So this is how this question will be solved. Again, all the students who are facing any difficulty wherever you are studying, you are more than welcome to join Vedantu's subscription. You can join that using the link vdnt.in slash ytpro and apply the coupon code gppro. gppro is your coupon code. So once you will apply this coupon code, what will happen? You will be having an option to choose for one month, three months, or six months. So in this case, apply the coupon code here GP Pro. When you apply this coupon code GP Pro, everywhere you will get 15 percentage, flat 15 percentage off on whatever price, either in case of three months or in case of six months, everywhere or in case of one month, everywhere you will get the discount of 15 percentage. So this is a very good deal, all of you. And this covers all the six subjects. It is not like only for maths. It covers maths, SST, okay, physics, chemistry, biology, and English. All the six major subjects which you have, it will be covering all those subjects. Got it? So this is the link and this is the coupon code. Got it? So this is all beta from my side. I hope all of you understood the solution. Thank you so much. And if you have liked the solution, please don't forget to like the video, share the video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Sayonara for the office to all of you. Bye-bye.